system. Badge board. South Sky, which is where we just were. System where we've been. Let's go explore the northern sky. Stylus, the brightest star of the constellation. Its name is made up of the Arabic segment Arc and the Latin Southern. Of the twelve zodiacal constellation, which depicts a centaur using a bow and arrow. The eight brightest stars in this constellation are called the Teapot. Bow hooks into the Milky Way, which looks as if it is flowing out of it. The archer in many images holds an a tout arc. The constellation Arrow appears alone on star maps. The archer in many images holds a taut bow that constant. Self there. Get up. No. Cannot get up there. That would let you jump. Not having a, a scorpion in the southern sky, too? Yeah. Spread a star that... This is the same one that was in the southern sky. Interesting. I'm not gonna reread it, because it was exactly the same. A little bit of overlap between the two skies, huh? Yeah. Gales were in the southern sky too. This constellation is the only one that consists of two parts. The serpent's head is on the western side of the Serpent Bear constellation. The serpent's tail is on the eastern side. Local High is the brightest star of the constellation. Its name consists of the Arabic segment Arc and the Latin Noon, the brightest star of the constellation. Its name in Arabic means Neck of the Snake. In ancient Greece, these stars were believed to form a single constellation representing a man holding a reptile in his hands. People saw them as Asclepius, Asclepius, the god of the art of medicine, who carried a powerful serpent while gathering herbs. I've seen the serpent bear before as well. Mm -hmm. And the snake tail. In ancient Greece, these stars were believed to form a single constellation. It's the only one consists of two parts. Serpent's head is on the western side. Serpent's tail is on the eastern side. Let's see. Brightest star in the constellation comes from Arabic and means eagle or flying eagle. There are many myths connected with this constellation. 
according to the Greeks, Hera transformed a suffering widower into an eagle. To soothe his suffering, she placed it in the sky, while in another myth it was another disguise of Zeus. The most famous one, Zeus turned himself into an eagle to kidnap the most beautiful young Ganymede to Olympus. Easy spotted constellation because one of one of the brightest stars in the sky, Altair. Sea goat. We've got a couple of skies that appear in both the northern and southern sky. That's not too surprising. Water bears a repeat as well. According to Greek myths, the dolphin symbolizes helpfulness and generosity. They rescued selflessly suffering people. Dolphins were also described as messengers of the god of the seas, Poseidon. Rotenev, the brightest star in the constellation, is a double star made up of two subgiants. Rotenev is the name of the astronomer who struggled the name of this star into the sky. His name was Nicolas Venator. He named another star similarly, but after his first name. Swalokin. Small and pale, but clear constellation, arranged in the dolphin leaping out of the water. So he named a pair of stars after his names backwards. Well done, sir. Deneb is a supergiant, the brightest star in the constellation. People imagined it to be located in the swan's tail. It is one of the most distant stars, perfectly visible to the naked eye, 2600 light years away. One of the bright constellations whose stars are arranged in the sign of the cross within the Milky Way. Gal within the, Milky Way. the body and outline of the swan's wings is called the Northern Cross. Swan plays an important role in Greek myths. Constellation Honor commemorates the birth of Helen. Swan was transformed into Zeus, wanting to win the beautiful Leda. Constellation whose stars are arranged in the shape resembling a musical instrument. Lyre is a stringed instrument popular in ancient Greece. The one in the sky was supposedly built by the god Hermes from an old turtle shell. Its music enchanted almost all living creatures. You might enjoy the art style in this is gorgeous, but basically. This game opens with this cat coming to say hi to his dad and asking him to tell him a story and then he goes to bed and now you are wandering the stars. No worries, go feed the kids. Don't need them uh, causing any more issues than I'm sure they already are.
or indie game publisher out of Central Europe, brother. Crown. Yeah, this is the kind of game that you just kind of chill out, explore. It's kind of designed for children to like explore and learn. Nothing super stressful or anything. Becca is the brightest of the constellation stars. Its name means broken ring in Arabic. According to Greek myths, it was a golden tiara, a wedding gift made by Hephaestus, the god of fire and smiths. To the Cretan princess Adriana and the god Dionysus. In fact, however, the constellation may commemorate any of the mythological crowns. It is a small constellation whose stars are arranged in the characteristic arc, diadem, or crown. Basically, there's a series of platforms that you run across. You'll run into various constellations as you go. You can find out info about them. At the end of each platform, there's this little pillow path up to the next level. Go and all the stars sometimes. Hmm. You'll have some overlap like this. Hmm. this northern star and a southern scar, the maiden Southern Sky, the maiden also appeared in the southern sky, which is why I'm not it. Uh, grab you from here. Yep. You're a major and minor. Is that where we're looking at here? The Great Bear. Yep. Ursa Major. The Great Bear is characterized by a long tail made up of the brightest stars, which is a bit surprising such bear, ta bear tails are usually short. Many people think that this constellation consists of seven stars. They're only a part of, the, of it. However, they form an easy-to-find system of the Great Bear, also known as the Big Dipper. Two bright stars, Dube and Merak. These stars point to the polar star that determines the direction north. Atonin, the brightest car star of the constellation. Its name means dragon or snake in Arabic. A constellation that stretches around the little bear, the king in Hercules, and extends all the way to the great bear. The dragon is the star Thuban, which in ancient Egypt was a polar star pointing north. According to Greek myths, the dragon was a mythical beast that Heracles killed during one of his twelve labors. In sun maps, the hero can be seen resting his left leg against the head of his monster. Presumably this is Ursa Minor. Still <coughs> bear tired. Constellation is also called the Little Bear. Within it is the Pole Star, or Polaris, which is of great importance in astronavigation. The brightest star in the constellation, which is located at the tip of the Little Bear's tail. The words Polaris means close to the pole. In present day, Polaris marks the north direction. According to Greek myths, the Great and Little Bears are mother and son. Since they cannot wet their furs, they are visible above the horizon at all times. Look at this star. Did not. Oh, hey! Constellation of medium brightness located at the edge of the Milky Way. It abounds in double and variable stars. 
According to Greek myths, Cepheus is the king of Ethiopia, husband of Cassiopeia, and father of Andromeda. Save the kingdom. Change his daughter to a rock to sacrifice her. The constellation of the king is home of some of the largest black holes. the stars sometimes is kind of cool. <laughs> yes okay sprout valley is coming out september 8th steam and switch made by zephrost kind of stardew valley-esque <laughs> but looks like the character can be I've seen bunnies, and I swear I've seen cats in some of their advertisements. We'll keep an eye on it. And if the brightest star of the constellation, its name comes from Arabic and means nose. Yeah, Red Deer is a publisher, so they've got a whole host of things that they make, well, that they produce. They aren't really locked into any genre. They're just kind of facilitating indie game publishing in Central Europe. A large and highly visible constellation, its four stars form a distinctive quadrilateral called the Great Square of Pegasus. Pegasus is a winged horse from Greek mythology. His mother was Medusa, who had snakes instead of hair, while his father was the sea god Poseidon. According to the myths, Pegasus was Perseus' steed, and also delivered lightning to Zeus. <laughs> oh, I can do that? Cool. The fishes. is the brightest star in the constellation. It shines 316 times brighter than the sun. Despite being a large zodiacal constellation, it is one of the more difficult to find. According to the Greeks, it represents two fish, Aphrodite and her son Eros. For the ancient Egyptians, on the other hand, these stars are the children of the fish that saved the goddess Isis from drowning. platformer go game is incredibly cute <sighs> someone should get Artie to draw her Chained Maiden. This large and distinct constellation was noted by the ancient Greeks. There is the name of a beautiful princess who barely avoided being devoured by the sea monster Kethos. She was rescued from her precipitation by Perseus. The Andromeda Galaxy is one of the farthest places on Earth, can be seen with the naked eye. Andromeda resembles a line of three stars. Above the central one, a spot is visible to the naked eye, which is a galaxy. Ah, this is the triangle, not to be confused with the southern triangle. One of the smallest constellations, which is formed by the three brightest stars arranged in a triangle. It gets its name from its regular shape. Ancient Greek astronomers thought it resembled the capital letter Delta. In ancient Babylon, the constellation was called the Plow. There's also a constellation of the southern sky called the Southern Triangle. One of the brightest galaxies is located in the constellation of the Triangle. Queen. 
<laughs> I don't know how you get all that out of. <laughs> get a uh, the brightest star of the constellation. The word comes from Arabic and means breast. One of the brightest constellations in the sky. It is easy to recognize because it resembles a W. Greek mythology. Cassiopeia was a queen and wife of King Cepheus. She bragged about her beauty, which is why she was said to be vain. Maybe she just knew she hot. Bragging to tell the truth. I'm a lion. The twelve zodiacal constellations, clear to observe, in which the stars are arranged in the shape of an animal. So source of Leon, it's a swarm of meteorites. The brightest star in the constellation, which represents the heart of a lion, was named by Nicholas Copernicus, is Regulus. According to Greek myths, this constellation represents the Nemean lion, which Hercules killed and then made clothes out of its skin. The skin could not be pierced by arrows. Heracles strangled the beast and used the skin as a shield. Oh, have you decided to wake up, stream elements? Said anything else, stream? Say, I see the red star. River again? No, oh, your Hydra again. Cat. Gemini. He's holding on to her hair. And Okay, the constellation is her him pulling on one of her pigtails. Okay. Constellation of the Twins is a distinctive zodiacal constellation in which the two brightest stars stand out, Castor and Pollux. According to Greek myths, they are the twins of King Leda, who, out of love for Phoebe and Hilaria, and got involved in a fight with Lydus and Lyncaeus. One of the brothers dies, died, and in the and the other, in despair, has ceased for immortality for him. The latter placed them both in the sky. A swarm of meteors, the Geminids, can be absorbed observed near Castor in December. constellation of up to 105 stars. Two distinct cl star clusters, the Pleiades and the Hyades, are visible to the naked eye in the constellation of Taurus. We discovered that there are Jupiter-sized planets in this constellation. According to Greek myths, it was the disguise of the god Zeus, representing a white bull with golden horns. Meanwhile, the Hyades are the daughters of the titan Atlas, who carried the world on his shoulders. The half to sisters of the Pleiades. <clears throat> yeah, the conquering hero. <clears throat> yeah, fuck. The brightest star of the constellation. Its name comes from the Arabic language and means elbow. Constellation named after Perseus, who, according to myths, saved Andromeda and defeated Mimsa and the sea monster Kedos, which today is a constellation of the whale. Associated with the constellation is a swarm of meteors called the Perseids, which can be observed for several hours each year. 
meteor shower occurs between July 23rd and August 22nd. That's a ram? Okay. Aries. Hamal, the brightest star. The word means ram's head in Arabic. One of the twelve zodiacal constellations, which has been depicted as a winged golden ram since ancient times. In the 17th century, an additional constellation called the bee, the wasp, or the fly was separated from its several stars. It has not survived in this, in this form to the present day. Aries point. When the sun passes this point, Astronomical spring begins in the northern hemisphere. Currently, the point of Aries is moving toward the neighboring constellation of fishes. We're about to be told the whale of a tail, huh? That was also in the southern sky. River was also in the southern sea. Hunter. Betelgeuse. Three stars aligned in a lot form Orion's belt. The brightest of them perfectly visible to the naked eye. An example of one of the largest stars in space. Seven stars form the silhouette of the hunter. Three of the belt, two of the arms, and two of the legs. According to the Greeks, they represent Orion, the hunter was accompanied on his fish hunting trips by the great dog. The Syrians saw in them a giant, and the Egyptians saw the soul of the god Osiris. In addition to stars, the hunter also contains very bright nebulae. Great nebula is visible to the naked eye. I don't know what you're talking about, that's the perfect sound. Great dog. <coughs> Canis Major. Sirius, the dog star, is, one, is the brightest star of the constellation in the night sky, which is twice the size of the sun. According to it, the ancient Egyptians set their calendar. The constellation is easily recognized because of Sirius, one of the closest stars. The hare escapes from under the feet of the Orion, hunter Orion, who, along with the great dog, fights the bull. <coughs> the lesser dog. It's just two stars. It's minor. Yep. Portion is the brightest star in the constellation. Although it doesn't really shine as brightly as Sirius, it is a bright spot in our sky because it is close to the solar system. A small constellation located next to the great dog. Ancient Greeks believed it was one of the dogs of the hunter giant, Orion. We have done just about everything. We've explored the majority of this game. This is... Pretty much all there is to it, there's a few things we missed, but 